Hello everybody, uh, this is Ling Chi, um, brush painting for beginners. And um, we did uh, a few weeks ago on um, Camellia in the Snow. And as I was doing it, and I was less satisfied with my flower shape. So then I went to study with uh, Ning Ye's instructional guy and then try to practice the flower petal as well as the leaf shape. And uh, we had a virtual session uh, last week on uh, basic stroke of Chinese brush painting. And I find Camellia is one of the best subject for beginner to practice. So today we're going to do a very simple composition on flower petals as well as leaves and connect it with a branch. And uh, this way you can practice over and over again about uh, brush uh, strokes. And then um, we're going to use, I'm going to use my favorite, um, Full lotus brush, you can use your uh, large flow uh, as the best combination brush and the flow brush. And my detail brush I'm going to use today is our pre happy dot. So this is the three brushes. Two size of combination brush, flow or large flow, and then the small happy dot and um, the color I'm using today I'm going to splurge a little bit on um, Winsor Newton watercolor I had um, wash white with um, permanent magenta permanent magenta with Elise and Quinson Elise and Quinson with um, Elise and Quinson with um, Pearling violet as my dark color. You can see all these three red that I actually marry each other so they don't stand alone. And then I have a bleed proof white as the center of the flower, and then the yellow with the bleed proof white with the pollen on the top. And then brown, which I'm using um, green with a little red instead of burnt sienna. So give me a smoother brown and then I'm using indigo chips with yellow to make my green and then indigo chips and then best bottle ink as my uh, trunk accent so um, first I'm going to show you um, what I mean by basic stroke, which is um, S shape. So I am load my brush with two red. The pink red with the tip with permanent magenta and uh, lease and crimson. And I mix again the second red, and then mix. So I want to show you my basic stroke, which is an S shape. This is my left side. Um, my right side, I'm sorry. And then my left side. So again, practice this S shape, which uh, the instructional guy has a much, a very detailed um, instruction. How do you practice your S shape? So this is the basic stroke. The, the, the leaves, 
is similar to the same shape except different directions. So and then a stroke to finish it. So this is the essence of this uh, subject. So now I'm going to start my camellia. And uh, we have quite a few people requesting um, virtual lesson on virtual hour Q&A on compositions. And then I will touch upon a little bit this time, and then later on we'll have Evan do a complete session on compositions. So, my right side pedal. And my left side pedal. And you can see this is already form a U shape. So this is a cup. And then the top. From outside in. So you can see the composition is a half a circle. And a lot of times, um, beginners on the camellia, people tend to make it a square. So I want you to see that this is actually um, half a circle. And then I'm going to do the center. So then I'm finishing my flower. So I add a little stuff to build the center. Before I do the center of the flower, I'm, I'm going to let it have a time to dry a little bit, but you can't wait it completely dry. So I'm going to do the, um, the, the leaf. Again, I'm going to arrange the leaf into a U shape. So green with indigo with a little red. Green with a little red. Okay, so. Then the side leaf a little bit darker. So you can see that had a U shape on the flower and a U shape on the leaves. Then I'm going to use my flow brush. Brown with a little ink. Look green.
So there I'm going to do it with the bone stroke. Again, this is another U shape. So on the bottom of the flower, I'm going to make a little calyx to hold it. Now I'm going to use a little ink to have some happy dot. Make sure that my things are all connected. So again, a composition, a host, which is a bigger dot and a guest, a smaller dot. Then we're going to do the center now. The center is almost So it's bleed proof white. So in and out. And then I have a bleed proof white with yellow. This is our camellia for today.